Hello, Cruising World, Mick the Suit Guy with you. It's Monday, and it's week two of the Mystery Guy's Tips, or Mystery Girl. I, I'm not assuming it's a man or a woman. Who knows? Mostly men that send me the tips, though. I wish more women would send me theirs, because they'd probably be a damn sight better than most of the men's. Well, I get some good ones lately. Got some good ones. And, uh, you know, uh, I had this suit in from last week. I did make a change. I turned the hat sideways. Oh, all right, we got four tips from the mystery person this week. We did three last week. We did the Alchemy Bar tip, Steakhouse, and Serenity area. And we're moving on to number four, beach towels. Brackets blue. Beach towels could be a different color if you're in the Havana. Like a beigey color in the Havana. Just your room beach towels from your room can be exchanged for clean, dry ones on the Lido deck or from your cabin steward. Serenity towels. Oh, I should read. I don't read. Brackets yellow. Not yellow. They're beige. I don't want to correct, but they're beige, not yellow. Are available for checkout on the Serenity deck. You need your sale and sign card and can be exchanged whenever needed, if wet, etc. Uh, I will add one to that. Very good tip, but I'll add one to that. If you take them ashore, like if you're in Cozumel and you're going to one of the all-inclusives, you absolutely need to take a, a towel with you because they don't provide them. Mr. Sancho's, Nachicoacom, Paradise Beach, blah, 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 blah. Take a towel. You won't get one. Uh, when you bring them back on the ship, if they're wet, once you get through security, hand them in and they'll give you two clean ones in exchange. You don't need your sign and sale card for that. They just switch them out two for two. But uh, don't just dump them in there and walk away because then you won't have any more in your cabin and they're going to think you stole them. You have to leave two. Good one. Next one. Number five. Spirit ship. Ah, if you were watching last week and they were describing the Serenity area and I thought it was a spirit class, clearly it is because this says spirit ship. So I'm assuming these are tips from a spirit ship. I don't know if it means spirit class or the spirit, but they're all, you know, spirit class, they're the same. Spirit class, miracle, legend, pride and luminosa. Although I don't know if Luminosa is exactly the same because I've not been on and some of these, you know, converted ships might be a bit different, but the other four, pretty much the same. Spirit Ship had picnic tables with umbrellas, which had the pig and anchor logo on them for shade on deck 10 aft. Nice breeze with shade and the view of the ocean, not very busy during our cruise. Is there a pig and anchor on those ships? Yeah, I don't think there's a pig and anchor on there, is there? I mean, there's a barbecue in there, but they may just have had an overflow. Who am I to know? Who am I to say? I didn't think the pig and anchor was on them. Yes, but that's true. The one up on deck 10 there, it's the one, and this will make sense to you if you've done this. You go up the stairs at the back of the Lido deck to go on to deck 10, and that door is like a wind trap. You think it's locked. you really got to push it to open it. And I have noticed lately, uh, when we've done these ships, that they keep that door open now. But if that door is closed and it feels like it's tight, just keep pushing. It's open. Just very airlocked. But yeah, it always is empty up there on, on deck 10. And if you go all the way up to deck 12, I think it is, right in front of the funnel on the Spirit Class ships, there's a little area there you can go sit on that nobody ever goes. Well, not I couldn't say ever, but very rarely do people go there. Uh, not shaded, though. Not shaded. But if you want to get the sun. Uh, rumor has it, rumor has it, that used to be a nude deck back in the day. I cannot confirm or deny that, but I have heard from people, <coughs> Mary and Ed, <coughs> Mary and Ed, that may have been up there. I didn't say they were new, I said they've been up there. Moving on, number three, six overall, three of four this week. When disembarking in Miami and heading to the airport, our Uber driver said, if you wait much past 8 a.m., the port traffic area Port area traffic is terrible. We did self-disembarkation, which went very smoothly. Have breakfast on Lido, so when it is time to go, you can get on an empty elevator down to the deck with the gangway. On our way down, we were full and stopped at every floor where people waiting couldn't get on. So what they're saying is come from the top down because you'll be the first in the elevator, and then it won't stop because it's full all the way down. They'll be also like, bye, bye, on the way down there. So yeah, I mean, uh, I personally think that no matter what time you go, in Miami, traffic can be terrible. For me, it's the worst port. Uh, a big big thing about Miami and the port would be, and I, I read a tip from Sean last week about how they check the port schedule when they're coming into a port, because um, it depends how many ships are in. 
What I've noticed with Miami is, for some reason, on a Sunday, it's the busiest day. There's like seven ships in on a Sunday. On a Saturday, there's only about four. And other days, three to four, two to three to four. Uh, so Sunday is always the worst day in Miami, in, in, as far as I can tell. So uh, pay more attention to that on a Sunday. Um, I've got off the ship at all different times and I've never really noticed too much of a problem with the Uber. This facial recognition helps you get off the ship quickly wherever you are. And some people don't want to rush off the ship. But um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think it's busy no matter what time you get off there. But I, again, I will backtrack and say it depends how many ships are in port, like on a Sunday. And they've got the bigger ships. they got like, wait till the icon of the seas comes out. But right now they've got the of the seas. They're all big. There's a big Norwegian one. There's the new big MSC one, the uh, Seascape, whatever it's called. You know, if they're all in and you've got the celebration in, then a lot more people. You come in on a Saturday uh, when it's typically smaller ships, um, it won't be as many people. So that's that should be a factor as well, I think. Good, good, good. Last one. I'm not saying that was bad. I'm just saying I think it's busy all the time. But uh, I like the tip of going down in the elevator. Go up top, have some breakfast, come down. Get your last omelette in. And then while you're about it, that poor man or, or lady that's cooked you omelettes all week, and all they've done is cooked omelettes 24-7. Well, not 24-7, but they've got omelette after omelette after omelette every day. And when you get off, they ain't getting a break. They're going back to cooking omelette after omelette after omelette. Ask them what their name is. Make a conversation with them while they're making your omelette. Makes their day. I'm not saying tip them. I do. But I'm not saying you should tip them. Have a conversation. Find out about their family. Where they're from. What do they like? Watch what happens the next time you go up for an omelette. Just saying. Last one. Carnival doesn't inform you about your VIFP benefits when on your cruise. We had to ask at the pixel area for our pin and let the bartender know that our first drink after 5 p.m. of the last day was free, gold level. We used to receive the pins in our stateroom and also get a coupon for the free drink. Um, I'm not going to say, I hate to say people are wrong, but that is kind of bad information. Because whilst it isn't physically written, the QR codes are in your room. And there's one QR code that if you do it over your phone will explain all that to you, where to go and where to get them. So no, you have to know the QR code is there. So if you, if you clearly this person didn't know the QR code is there, but when you get in, you'll see all the pieces of paper on the desk, scan, 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 because they're trying to save paper, although they just brought back the fun times, which makes no sense to me whatsoever. When you've got the hub, I get that some people like the fun times, then go get a hard copy, they're there. What a waste of paper that is. Uh, it's like all the people saying, oh my God, why can't we get the tablecloths? Are you kidding? You have any idea how wastage, how much wastage is involved in tablecloths in a cruise ship, washing those things every night? Not let alone the damage to the environment with all the extra stuff you have to do. And the cost, oh my God, that is, oh, I was going to say a really bad term there. I'm not going to say it. I'm just going to rephrase it as Karen's. I was going to say something really bad. I just, I, see? Brain said stop. Brain stopped. Yeah. Yes, but no, they, they do inform you. Just you have to know how they inform you. That's all. Um, but yeah, totally. If you didn't know, you have to go down there. But go to the pin. The new pins are nice, too. I wish I started collecting them. We never did. So we don't keep them. We kind of give them away. But uh the new ones, super nice. And I've been on every ship in the fleet except Luminosa. So I, I would have had a nice collection by now. But I never kept them. Oh, well. All right. Thank you, mystery person, for your seven tips over two weeks. Um, I'll give you nine out of ten. Because the last one's a little bit misleading because they do give you the info. I've got to be fair. I've got to be honest. It is in there. you just got to know it's there. And um, I mean, who am I to argue with an Uber driver? It's like me telling my gardener how to do the garden or somebody telling me what songs to play when I'm DJing a wedding or something like that, you know? Um, so I could be very wrong on that. But just my impression is, doesn't matter what time it is, Miami's busy. Oh, well, and they're also telling us once when we got the um, 
the, the shuttle, they did say, try and get on before eight because it can get crazier after, after eight. So uh, yeah, probably true, probably true. What do I know? All right, that's all the tips done. I'm now out. Need some more. Send them. Send me your tips. My email's coming up. You can Facebook message me. You can find me on Facebook. Very easy. Uh, subscribe. Bing. Easy done, right? Join the Facebook group. I got one. Mick and Julie's Carnival Cruise Tips. Easy to find. Uh, I get a lot of inside information. I stick it up there. Ask me any questions. Send me your cruise traditions. But most importantly, subscribe to my damn channel, people. I want to get to 2,000. Then I'll have a real party. And with that, I will see you later, Cruising World. Any questions? Email me anytime. CruisingSuitGuy at gmail.com. I promise I'll reply as soon as possible. Want to book a cruise or any type of travel? We are travel agents. Check out our site, EliteTravelConnection.com or email me, Mick at EliteTravelConnection.com. We are here for you. Finally, subscribe, please. Pretty please. You know you want to. Go on. I won't beg you. Okay, I'm begging. Please. Subscribe. Thank you.